All right, now to this important story. Medical companies are responding this morning to a critical new documentary on the health care industry. The film is called The Bleeding Edge, and it speaks with patients suffering apparent complications from medical devices such as the cobalt hip replacements and the eShure permanent birth control device. The movie claims loose regulations are putting patients at risk. Most people probably believe when they get a medical device, they implant it, that those medical devices have undergone appropriate testing. But for most moderate and high-risk devices, that is not the case. All the manufacturer needs to demonstrate is that their device is substantially equivalent, is the regulatory term, to another device that's already on the market. Eshur's manufacturer, Bayer, recently announced it would stop selling the birth control product in the U.S. at the end of the year due to declining sales. In a statement to CBS News, Bayer reminded women with Eshur that the safety profile of the device remains positive and unchanged. It says the film presents an inaccurate and misleading picture of Eshur. Bayer argues that the film may encourage women to pursue risky and unnecessary surgery to remove the device. The FDA responded to the Assure claims, stating evaluating the post-market safety of Assure continues to be a top priority. Well, Kirby Dick and Amy Ziering probably have something to say about this. They're the filmmakers behind the documentary called The Bleeding Edge. Good morning to you both. I have to say, I think this is must-see. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I knew very little about Assure uh, uh, of most of the devices that you talked about, because this is a huge industry. But you're you were here to really sound the warning bell and alarms. What are you here to say, Amy? Well, it's not just the devices we actually uh, show in our film. It's actually devices across the board. The system is flawed, and it puts patients unnecessarily at risk. And, and that's by why devices, we made this what film. What do you mean? Uh, medical devices are anything. It's, it's CAT scans, it's x-rays, it's ultrasounds, it's hip implants, it's defibrillators, it's stents. Anything that any interaction you have with technology when you are in the medical industry is a medical device. And those are the things that we learned, we were shocked to learn, aren't regulated. Mm -hmm. They are one most of the most cases. powerful lobbying groups in Washington. What are they mm -hmm. lobbying for? Well, they're lobbying to keep the regulations low. Right now, you know, uh, right, I would say right now, most medical devices, are, the FDA does not require uh, human clinical testing before they're implanted in humans. And this is just shocking. Totally shocking. 98% of devices can be approved for sale without any studies in humans, meaning we are essentially guinea pigs and we don't know. It. Let's start first with how the, the women that have been affected by this, because Bayer is now facing 16,000 lawsuits over eShore. What did you hear from the women about some of the complications that they suffered? It causes auto autoimmune reaction in the body. So um, you can have uh, uh, migraines, absolutely debilitating symptoms, um, tremors, tics, seizures, all sorts of things happen. And you don't actually necessarily associate it with the device because yeah. it's a gynecological think, device. Mm -hmm. Kirby, let me ask you about what Bayer says, which it says that 40 published studies involving about 200,000 women demonstrate the safety of the eSure, but we're not discussed in the film. This is what they say. So what's your response to that? Well, first of all, one of the things we learned is that most studies are actually funded by industry. And as a result, they're very, very biased. And, w and one of the big problems with a lot of these studies is Eshur is implanted for life, but these studies often followed women only for a short time, a year, a year and a half, and a lot of these symptoms come up 5, 10, 15 years later. Yeah, and the results, I have to say, were devastating. It was shocking what I was hearing from these women. And the, the point that struck to me in the film was when you said, new doesn't mean better. New really means unproven. I thought that was a very powerful message. Yeah, I mean, we found that hip implants in the 70s are actually as effective, if not better, than the newer and later ones, but they had to sort of change and tweak it to charge you more for it. So it's really marketing. It's not necessarily the product. I prefer tried and true as opposed to something that they want to sell me for more money. I mean, I love something that's tested for a long time and so that I know is safe before it's put in my body. You see this doc saving lives? Oh my God, we save lives with every viewing. It has information you simply can't get anywhere else. I was shocked to learn it. Me Kirby too. was shocked yeah. to learn it. Yeah. Every screening people say thank you. Doctors thank us. They don't know this information. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really, that's why we made this, you know, be an informed consumer, right. you know, that's, it's, the it's, best that's the best message. thing you can do. Mm -hmm. yeah. The bleeding edge means. Yeah. <laughs> the bleeding edge, very yeah. well titled too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the technology that is so cutting edge that it's right. dangerous. All right. Kirby Dick, thank you very much. Kirby, I like the name. That's the name of my favorite daughter. <laughs> well, that's a good taste. Yeah. Thank you. Amy Ziering, we thank you both.